Tom and Gloria Ratcliffe wish they'd never visited their local bank of Montreal almost two years ago. This is where a financial planner insisted they could transfer some retirement savings in a U.S. account to a Canadian RRSP, even though two other banks told them not to. This is the one she gave us. The couple took that advice and promptly lost $47,000 in unexpected taxes and old age security clawbacks. The whole process has been financially devastating. It has been emotional and physical. If they made a mistake, they should make it right. Everybody makes mistakes, but they should make it right. We asked the Bank of Montreal for an interview. You gave this couple bad financial advice and we'd like to talk to you about that. But BMO won't talk on camera. We do know the financial planner made commission, investing some of the couple's money in mutual funds owned by BMO. At the Canadian Foundation for Advancement of Investor Rights, this investment expert wants new standards that would force financial planners to disclose whether they'll financially benefit from the advice they give. We'd like to see those standards uh, set at a level of true professionalism to ensure that uh, everything that a financial planner does uh, is done in the best interest of the client and not for the purpose of, of selling products. Last fall, investigators for the Ontario Securities Commission mystery shopped with dozens of financial advisors across Ontario, testing the quality of advice consumers were given. 75% of the time, there was no discussion regarding how advisors are compensated. After we started making inquiries, the Bank of Montreal sent the couple a letter admitting the financial advice they got was erroneous. BMO also sent the couple a check for $50,000 to cover the losses to their retirement savings. Erica Johnson, CBC News, Vancouver.